We heard that Bath has been called Maine's cool little city, and we wanted to learn more. Our reporter Chloe has the story. Chloe, take it away. Thanks, Molly. Hey kids, have you heard that Bath has been called Maine's cool little city? Why? What's so cool about it? I don't know, but let's investigate. We're here reporting from City Hall in Bath, Maine. These students will explain to us what they've discovered about Bath and prove that it is indeed a very cool little city. So kids, what did you discover? Well, for starters, we found out we have some amazing architecture in this town. Take beautiful City Hall, for example. It was built in 1929. And here's the cool part. The bell in the bell tower is believed to be cast by Paul Revere himself. It came from his foundry in 1802. Wow, I guess that is pretty cool. It sure is. There's all kinds of historic architecture all over the city, especially downtown and on Washington Street. Why is that? Well, it's because our city got its start as a shipbuilding community way back in the 1700s, and it grew quickly. By the 1800s, lots of wealthy ship owners and sea captains built all their fancy homes all along Washington Street. Today, Washington Street is a great reminder of our city's historic past. Back. Bath has been named City of Ships. There's more great architecture on the streets of downtown Bath. All the old buildings have been filled up with unique little shops. There's a shop for everyone on Front Street. You'll especially love Papa Geppetto's. They've got every toy and game you can think of, from action figures to princess tiaras. That's true, but my favorite store is Dog's Ice Cream. They make their own cool flavors like H2O. Mmm, very cool. Don't forget the Bath Sweet Shop, that's my favorite. They have so many things you gotta see it to believe it. They even have a lobster dinner made out of candy. No way! Yes they do. Check it out. Wow, I guess they really do have a lot of cool shops for kids in Bath. Not only shops, restaurants too. There's tons of them. My favorite place to eat in the summer is the Kennebec Tavern. Right on the Kennebec River. You can sit at a table on the deck and watch everything that's happening on the Kennebec River. After you eat, you can hop on a boat and go on a sightseeing adventure. You can even go on a fishing excursion if you like. Wow, that sounds fun. What else is there to do in Bath? How about visiting the Maine Maritime Museum? There's so much about Maine history there. You can take a scavenger hunt through the whole museum. You can pretend to drive a tugboat or play in the Pirates of Paradise. You can even take a boat tour from the museum. Right next door is Bath Ironworks, one of the world's leading shipbuilders. They make some of the best ships in the world. The Chocolate Church is another neat landmark here in town. The Chocolate Church? Is it made out of chocolate? No, of course not. It's an old church that's been painted chocolate brown, and now it's a theater and art gallery. Stop by and catch a show, but warning, do not eat. <laughs> okay, what else? Well, there's a Pat Freed Library. What's so cool about that? For one, the building itself is beautiful. It reminds me of a castle 100 years ago. They have great programs for kids there. Like what? They have a great children's room. Besides a ton of books, they have programs for kids like a Lego club and chess club. You can even read to a trained dog there. They have all sorts of programs for kids. Outside at the gazebo, there's free concerts and events all year long. Everyone can attend. That sounds great. Are there other good places to tour nearby? Well, Fort Poppin is a great place to see. It's a big stone fort with winding staircases and beautiful stone arches to walk through. It's a great place to explore! When you're at Fort Popham, don't forget to visit Popham Beach State Park. It has a sandy beach, grassy dunes, and even an island to explore. If you like to hike, there are lots of scenic spots around. Head to the nearby Morse's Mountain or Hamilton Sanctuary. Right in Bath, there are two trails, Thornhead and Westgate. These are all great places for hiking and wildlife hiking. I love Heritage Days in July. There's music, parades, and even a carnival with a Ferris wheel and other rides. I never realized how many things there are to do around Bath. And even more, you can take a scenic train ride from Bath's train station, a trolley ride all through town. You can even go to the skate park to go skateboarding. You name it, there's always something to do. Well, I guess there's no doubt about it. Bath is a very cool little city. Come for a visit or come here to stay. Bath, Maine is a great place to be.